Today I'm going to tell you about why it's time for defensive tackle Neville Gallimore to make the leap. And all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. So, Big Canada is a physical freak. We know this because Kenneth Murray told Bruce Feldman what kind of numbers Neville Gallimore puts up. And Bruce Feldman was so impressed with what Kenneth Murray had to say about Neville Gallimore that he made number three on Feldman's athletic freaks of college football because he put up numbers like this. At six foot two, 330 pounds, he drops 4.76 in the 40 yard dash. He can squat almost 800 pounds. Oklahoma defensive tackles coach Ruffin McNeil says he's never been around a guy who's been that athletically gifted before. But we all know that Neville Gallimore needs to be more consistent. He's played in 25 games, making just 11 starts. But when he has played, he has 68 tackles, 15 tackles for loss, and 11 sacks. And after breaking out 2016 and racking up more than 40 tackles that year, he made just five starts in 2017 and was mostly forgotten about in the latter half of the season. And Gallimore has taken ownership of that in the past, saying in April, when you're a competitor, being in a situation, having the season like that, obviously it's going to bother you a little bit. As soon as I was done with the season, I already knew what I needed to be better at. That was kind of another stage of growing pains for me. Sometimes, you got to learn the hard way. And I think Neville Gallimore is really going to be a key to this Oklahoma defense when you're talking about, can they really get better? This is the most talented unit Mike Stoops has had since he's returned to Norman. And we've all heard the excuses about how the talent needs to get better. Lincoln Riley said they needed to recruit better on defense at Big 12 media days. And with Gallimore moving to the nose tackle spot and knowing the emphasis that is being placed on this defensive line in particular and why you brought in Benny Wiley and why you brought in Ruffin McNeil Neil. It was to get to guys like Neville Gallimore and get them out of their heads and let their athleticism and freakish football ability take over. And believe it or not, Mike Stoops says he's starting to see the light bulb come on in Gallimore's head. You're starting to see his skills show up every down. He's starting to play more consistently. He's probably our most improved player, I would say that I've seen thus far. Gallimore knows he's going to have to follow up the likes of Devontae Lampkin who left for the NFL, Obo Oronquo, and DJ Ward as one of those guys that is going to have to be the alpha on that defensive line. And Mike Stoops has said as much. The defensive line is becoming a factor. For any team to have a great defense, it all starts up front, just like our defense. Those guys have done a great job. We're much more developed. We have a physical presence about us. And I think that's because Gallimore is being allowed to just pin his ears back and let his athleticism take over. Let Calvin Thibodeau put a bow on that. He's super talented. A big kid like that who runs a 4-7. He has it all. He's jumping out on the tape. He's really flashing. I really expect for him to just cut loose this year just based on some of the things we've seen. All right, that's it for me. Deuces.